In this video, I'll teach you the basics of mannitol salt specialized bacterial growth medium. Here are some more examples of halophilic salt-loving bacteria growing on mannitol salt agar. Here are two nasal samples plated on mannitol salt agar. Let's first examine the plate on the left. There is growth, so we know these are halophilic bacteria. We can also see that the growth on this plate has triggered the pH sensitive dye to change color, meaning that the bacteria on this plate are mannitol fermenters. So that is what I've learned about the bacteria growing on that left plate from the selective and differential properties of mannitol salt agar. I can also sometimes get additional information about the bacteria growing on my plate by looking at their colony morphology. Colony morphology refers to what each different type of bacteria looks like when growing in a visible colony on the surface of the agar. When I look at the colony morphology of the bacteria growing on the left plate, I see two main types of bacteria. Towards the top of the plate, above the word nose, are some larger creamy yellow colonies, most likely micrococcus. And starting on the right edge, then extending towards the center of the plate, are these tiny punctiform colonies. These are the bacteria that change the color of the plate. These are the bacteria that ferment mannitol and they are Staphylococcus aureus. The plate on the right also shows growth, which means there are halophiles or salt-loving bacteria growing on that plate. But the bacteria growing on this plate are not mannitol fermenters. We know that because the growth did not trigger that change in the color of the medium from pink to yellow. This medium remained pink indicating non-mannitol fermenters, most typically normal flora like Staphylococcus epidermidis. Here is Staphylococcus epidermidis, normal flora that will grow on mannitol salt agar but not change the color of the medium. Here's Staph epi from two nasal samples growing in their characteristic punctiform, small white creamy colonies. And here's Staph epi on mannitol salt agar. These bacteria were streak plated. On this plate, we also see the growth of halophiles, but in this case, the bacteria triggered the pH sensitive dye to change color. That means that we have mannitol fermenters, Staphylococcus aureus, a pathogen. Here's a nasal sample plate prepared by a pair of lab partners. 
The sample on the left indicates pathogen Staphylococcus aureus, a halophile that will grow on mannitol salt agar and ferment mannitol, triggering that pH sensitive dye to change color. The sample on the right indicates Staphylococcus epidermidis, which is normal flora that is halophilic. It will grow on mannitol salt agar, but does not ferment mannitol, so there is no change in the color of the agar. More seriously nerdy, amazing free stuff at scienceprofonline.com. Go there.